Hold up. Hey gorgeous people and welcome back to my channel. It is a drizzly day here in Wellington, New Zealand. So I'm having a hot cup of ginger and lemon tea whilst I do this video with you. Let's get straight into it. And the title of this video is pretty in your face. Daisy Keach's ab workout ruined my body. And it's true. This isn't a clickbait title. It's 100% true, but it's also not her fault. It is not the ab workouts Fault. All I would say is, what I have learned from this is that not everyone should be jumping into ab routines that people with six packs and abs do because they have better core strength than I do and I learned a few things along the way and I wanted to share them with you. This video is unique in the sense that the finished product of this video is not what I planned to start with. This did not start out as Daisy Cage's ab workout ruined my body. That was not the original brainstorm title. Originally, this was supposed to be a challenge, a challenge where I did Daisy Keach's ab workout every single day, and then I showed you some before, before results and some after results your basic before and after video. But it turned into a lesson that I can't do ab workouts or something to that effect. But I'll get into it. Let me take you through it step by step and let's start at the beginning. Okay, so this is before day one. I'm not expecting miracles here. So this is what day one looks like. This is definitely not the best shape I've ever been in. and probably the strongest I've ever been um, from like lifting weights and stuff. I haven't been able to do that with my wrist being injured in like two or three weeks. So a lot of my muscles are looking very like deflated at the minute. But I also just wanna say, you know, like I probably have the best relationship with food now and in the last six months since I was like 16 years old. And that to me is more important then you know having a bit of stuff to hang on to relaxed eh tensed <sighs> I will say I don't work abs because I just, I don't enjoy it. And I, I think I stopped for a while and like I'm just not good at it anymore, but I think this might fix it. <sighs> Can definitely feel a burn. Day one went absolutely fine. I felt no issues, I felt no pain was feeling good, feeling successful. There were a couple of exercises in hindsight that were quite difficult. And by this I mean, like I couldn't get my legs low enough in order to get a burn. So I would like crunch my head forwards in order to lift my shoulder blades off the back of the mat and then keep my core engaged to protect my lower back because I could feel it peeling off the mat. However, I'll be truthful with you. I was 100% convinced that this was gonna change as it went on. I was convinced that Daisy Keach's ab workout was gonna tone me, sculpt me, and more importantly, make me stronger, make me better at the exercises. Practice makes perfect, right? I am literally just through the door and I just thought I would jump on here to film. I would like to retract my earlier statement saying that my abs did not hurt. <laughs> I think I may have called it just a smidge too early. Because obviously when I woke up this morning, that workout wasn't even 12 hours in the past and we've yet to reach 24 hours. So we'll see what happens. I really felt it like, and my hip flexors here and here, really felt it there throughout the day, but in a good way, in like a I've worked it way. And now I <laughs> just been over to get the potatoes out the cupboard and like here, I was like, mm. So the fact that I have to do this again tonight, I have to say I'm not feeling spectacular about the idea. Let's do this. Oh my God. Okay, my report for day number two. 
this I work out burns. It burns so good. I don't know how I'm gonna do day three if it's gonna exponentially get that bad because oh my god, out. I do lift my head up off the ground on ones where she has her head completely flat. And the reason I do that is because I can't get my legs low enough to the ground like she can in order to have proper ab engagement um, without lifting my back off and feeling pain in my back. That, that right there is where I should have pulled the plug on this whole entire freaking operation. I didn't know it yet and I thought I was being so extremely careful. If I ever felt an exercise in my back, I adjusted, I changed the way I was sitting, I put my feet down and modified the exercise into something easier. However, the fact that I'd felt pain in my back at all meant I had engaged something and I was already in trouble. Now, you might be watching this and thinking, well, Alicia, if you, if you knew this, if you could feel it, why didn't you stop? And the answer is because I thought Daisy Keach's ab workout would fix this. I thought, I, I thought it would make me stronger, like I've already said. So I kept going. I thought the solution to my problem was more of Daisy Keach's ab workout, but instead it was ruining my body. And then like, even if I s sit on my hands it's not I haven't got core engagement and my back starts to hurt so instead I feel like bringing my legs higher and lifting my uh, shoulder blades up off the floor a little bit gives me the same kind of burn. I am so many different kinds of not in the mood to do a freaking ab workout right now but it's day three and I have to but I'm doing it in my pajamas I'm doing it in the lounge and then I am going to bed I am so freaking tired uh, okay let's let's do this I was absolutely exhausted. It's just because of work, nothing to do with the ab workout. But I do remember now that I had started to feel niggles, especially working at my desk. I just didn't connect the dots. I didn't connect the dots that when I was sitting down and I had like back pain and when I was lying down and I had back pain, maybe it was because of the brand new thing I had introduced into my life that I wasn't particularly good at. Hey guys. Okay, so I feel pretty good today and I haven't done a workout. I squeezed in a quick workout, my wrist is still so bad and now we're gonna do the ab workout and then have a bath. felt that in new places today. I still can't really get my legs any lower. I think maybe I needed this more than I knew. Okay, so now that I have finished a workout, I just need a little bit more food and I really haven't had much protein today. I had a chicken wrap at lunch, but in terms of protein, oh, and I had some high protein yogurt. Actually, maybe I'm doing all right. Either way, I need more. So I haven't had a protein shake in like two weeks because what's the point of a protein shake if you're not fucking working out? So let's do this. It's going real well over here. Um, <laughs> so I want to make sure that there's like some decent calories in here because I think I need to eat more today. Although to be honest, yesterday I ate enough food for the freaking month. Okay. Only the tiniest dribble. Yeah. Oh, what happened to my, you didn't want to eat my squish? Show the camera your squish. Squish. It looks delicious from this angle, but it was like up to here when I got it. <laughs> so. Oh, will you reach me the- wait. Yeah, can you reach me the peanut butter? <laughs> wait, I can- you put icing on me. Maybe. <laughs> okay. You ready? No, you can't move the target! Dick? No. <laughs> Not as accurate. Accurate statement. You just did a workout and asked for peanut butter for a healthy shake. I'm eating a Chelsea bun and talking to peanut butter. I hate you. <laughs> just appreciate this. Thank you. <laughs> what the fuck? That is very peanut butter in that time. That's the case, great. Mm. That tastes really good. Yeah, it's so good. So good. Uh, uh, so good. Mm -mm. I got a you. Okay, so I'm in from work and I was just about to start curling my hair and getting ready and feeling pretty. I'm glad I goddamn didn't because I have not yet done this ab workout. So, gotta jump in and get it done now. And then we've got dinner to eat, I gotta get ready, and then we're out for the night. So, one of the brilliant things about this ab workout is that it is so short. Like I get it done in 
10 to 12 minutes. I feel like my motivation towards the end there, no, at the beginning, actually, I found it really hard. Um, I don't know what that was. It wasn't because of burn, necessarily. I think maybe it was mental. Maybe I'm just a bit tired. It is Friday. We're gonna keep up with this. I feel like yesterday and today, I felt it burn in new places, and I feel like that's because my form has improved enough in order to do some of the exercises the way that she does them. Currently, though, there are some ways that I would change certain exercises just because I don't know, I just would. Um, but that's, you know, that's me. And that's my back telling me what to do. Another huge red flag here. My back was telling me to stop. I thought it was telling me to change it up. No, it was telling me to stop. You can hear in the words that I'm saying that something is not right. Or my core telling me what to do, or my neck aching or something. So yeah, but we're done. Easy peasy. Also, if you guys haven't seen the video of me round fucking house kicking the sofa, you should. Look at this fucking bruise. Look at that. Gonna go get ready. Love you guys so much and see you for our workout tomorrow. What I want you to get from this video, the reason I'm putting this video out here is to be like, if you are questioning whether or not you are strong enough to do a move, take it back five steps. Take it back ten steps. Your body is so clever. It is so clever. So just listen to it. And if it's saying no, don't do it. If you get like a nice muscle ache, if you get a burn in your abs, great. If you get pain in your back, stop. I'm literally watching this footage back now and I'm like screaming at the freaking screen. I'm like, stop. Stop causing yourself pain. And I know what's ahead for me. This is not working. This is not working for you. Finally, I took a day off. And I was like, you know what? Let's see if my back miraculously look recovers in this time. And I honestly think my thinking behind this was, if my back doesn't recover, then it's not the ab workout, so I'll go back to it. As if it was gonna help. Like, come on. You guys, I feel like I have failed you and I am really, really sorry. I'm not gonna be doing my ab workout today. I have like a spasming group of muscles in between my shoulder blades just below. It's been going on for a couple of days. Right now, it is so bad. I can't sit still. Serious back spasm is not a good side effect of just a 10 minute ab workout. I feel like I've let you guys down a little bit, but I, I have to put my health first and my back is so important. I don't want to risk doing anything to it. So gonna take this one off. Day five was a lot better. I was in high spirits, I was feeling good and I was ready to crack on with the rest of this challenge. I thought I'd had that breakthrough. I thought I had become stronger and therefore everything was gonna be okay. However, later that same night, something happened that I didn't record. I was less than halfway through the workout and my back started screaming at me. And I was like, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Are you, are you saying that you're hurting because of this ab workout? Oh, you didn't try and tell me that in loads of other different ways. Thanks for letting me know. I'll stop. It was at this point that I finally listened to my body and called off the ab workout challenge for Daisy Keach. This kind of really upset me at first, this whole experience. It hurt my ego. My ego was bruised because I come from dance and I come from gymnastics. You've got to be real with yourself. I am no longer 17 years old. It has been a long time since I truly trained intensely for gymnastics or dance. And also in those classes and through that training, crunches and exercises such as this were not part of my regime that I was set out from my coaches and my dance teachers. It was more leg kicks, stability, bar work, isolation movements of different muscle groups, which all helps with strength, but also means that my experience with things like crunches is so small. So why I thought I would be able to just jump into doing it every day, in hindsight, is ridiculous. Core strength is clearly a perishable skill and it's something that I'm trying to build up again. And my advice to you going forward, if you feel like you're not able to do these exercises either, would be to focus on yoga, breath work, stability exercises, maybe standing ab exercises, learning that mind to muscle connection and learning how to protect your back. I clearly don't have the core necessary in order to do these exercises to protect my back. I thought I did, 
but evidence proves otherwise and you know that I love my evidence. I will also say that whilst I'm filming this part of the video I am more than one week post the ab challenge and my back is pretty much back to normal. That's pretty conclusive as well that the thing that was aggravating it was the Daisy Keach ab workout. And finally I do just want to say Daisy Keach's ab workout is really good. It's I just can't do it. I'm physically not good enough and I don't have a strong enough core in order to be able to keep up with it. Daisy Keach's ab workout did ruin my body but I believe any ab workout would have ruined my body in this situation. As I say in the title, it is not her fault. So that is my experience with it. Please take from this video whatever you will. It's a bit different to my usual videos but I really wanted to share this and just come on here and be like, so guys, I can't do a sit up. <laughs> well I can but not without like, hurting myself. Thank you so much for tuning in with me on this video. It means so much to me for your ongoing support. Please jump on down to that subscribe button if you haven't already, and also hit that like button. Thank you so much for tuning in, and as always, I will see you next week. Bye.